Big black nigga coming to get you. Respect the elect and the children of God. The Jews have returned, the Israel God. Now as the truth unfolds, you may not understand, but soon you'll know. Yeshua, Pandera. What is up, my gods and goddesses, kings and queens, niggas and niggas. Much love and respect to all the righteous Jews and Gentiles. And I welcome all you motherfuckers to End Times News. Now. On this edition of End Times News. Too much juiciness. I'm going to uh, play the remainder of the phone conversation that I had with Catherine. And, yeah, I'm going to tell y'all a little, a little story about some strange shit that just recently happened concerning the sun. Uh-huh. It's your ass, Mr. Postman. And, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh boy. I ain't got shit to do. So I, I ain't got shit to do. So I figured I'd make another video because I ain't got shit to do. Here come the flies and the trains is blowing. Oh boy. Anyway, before I get started. Perfect timing, every fucking time. Before I get started, <laughs> before I get started, I'm gonna tell y'all a little something, something about this information. <laughs> I forgot I had the other camera over here. <laughs> hey, what the fuck is that? Oh, brother. About to scare myself from my own fucking reflection. <laughs> Oh my! I got a little news to tell y'all about. I'm pretty sure y'all know about this shit. Damn, it's hot. Many years ago, many years ago, I heard Yashkara say that all will be revealed. And specifically, he was talking about the shit that's going on in Holly Weird. He talked about all the shit that we've talked about, but he said all that shit they got on they got on video and all this shit, and it's gonna be coming out. And that's exactly what's been happening. Shut up, train. Now we got all this shit that's been going on the last number of years with a lot of these celebrities speaking the truth about all the freaky and satanic psychotic shit that's been going on in Hollywood concerning this end time shit that we living in and recently I just got some uh, ran across this information from YouTube channels The Hill and Fox News uh, this shit by the hill, that was about what? That was a week ago, and this shit by Fox News was two months ago. This is concerning Rose McGowan. Actress Rose McGowan. Now, let me see. 
Now, the first time I went on Wikipedia, y'all know YouTube love Wikipedia. <laughs> I went on Wikipedia and they mentioned it mentioned that she was in the movie Scream and I didn't even know that. Like, I think it came out in 1996. But the first time I ever saw Rose McGowan was in this movie called Phantoms. Uh-huh. That's some weird ass shit right there, y'all. Check that shit out, y'all ain't seen it. This movie came out, I believe, a couple of years after the movie Scream did. I didn't even know Rose McGowan was in Scream. But she was in this movie, Phantoms. Uh, ben Affleck was in this movie as well, as y'all can see. Oh, uh, what do they call the motherfucker? Batfleck. <laughs> oh, Batman. But yeah, this movie came out a couple of years after that movie Scream. This movie called Phantoms. This is the first time I've seen Rose McGowan. Now, she's been coming out accusing these wicked ass motherfuckers of being some wicked ass motherfuckers. You know, the same shit that we've been talking about for years, but they always call us crazy, yeah. You know? So, let me, uh, before I uh, play this short video, I'm trying my best to concentrate, y'all. I'm sorry. I've been chilling all motherfucking day, no problems. And as soon as I push record, here come the goddamn flies and the horns blowing the horns and train, whatever. Shut up, motherfucker. No! Oh! See, y'all think I'd be, y'all think I'd be saying this shit just to be acting the fool and all that shit. Nah. As soon as I push record, all hell breaks loose. Every fucking time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Before I play this short video concerning this shit about Rose McGowan, let me read this shit right quick. Oh, brother, you know what? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna kill everybody. I'm gonna kill everybody. And I ran out of smokes. No cigarettes, no cigars. I am gonna kill everybody. <sighs> Listen to this shit, niggas. Pressured by Simmons over expose, Oprah Winfrey faced a big decision. Miss Winfrey acknowledged that Russell Simmons pushed her to abandon a documentary about his accusers, but said her own concerns led her to pull support. In fight. I've been telling y'all about this. All these motherfuckers in Hollywood and getting involved in this Mason shit and all that crap. Freemasons and these fraternities, everybody working with, working for powers to be. A lot of infighting going on because, like I said, all these wicked ass motherfuckers, they haven't truly come together yet with that high mind. And y'all know that shit is coming. Zombies, <laughs> among many other things that's going down. So you got all this shit, Russell Simmons and these wines. What is it? Weinstein? Yeah. Hmm. Kind of like Frankenstein. And all this shit. All this shit is coming out. A lot of infighting going on. Everything's being revealed. It's the fucking apocalypse. Now nah, check this out, niggas. McGowan's criticisms come as the Me Too movement weathers the resignation of Time's Up CEO and President Tina Chen. Chen and Time's Up publicly supported Oprah and Simmons' accusers when Oprah stepped away from the documentary. But the Daily Beast reports that privately, Chen bashed the project, even calling an accuser to pressure her into stepping away from the documentary. As we told you at the top, right before we came on the air tonight, we heard that the actress Rose McGowan wanted to come on and talk about something. We've never met Rose McGowan uh, before, but we're completely open-minded. We just learned it has something to do with Britney Spears, who we've not interviewed since she was literally a teenager. But apparently, we have just read she's been under a conservatorship for the last 13 years. And this has been in the news, flew under our radar, but it has been. And Rose McGowan has been watching it, too, and has thoughts about it. She joins us now. Rose McGowan, thanks so much for coming on tonight. Hi, Tucker. Nice to meet you, too. I also have an open mind. 
Well, <laughs> this is my favorite quality in a person. Thank you. Um, so I'm coming at this cold. I, again, haven't seen Britney Spears since 2003. I just read she's been under conservatorship. I, m make the case, if you would. What is it and why is that bad or good? Well, in my opinion, and in many others, it's bad. Imagine you're a 25-year-old young woman or young human who has been forced to perform since as long as she could walk to support her family. Yes. Her father put her under conservatorship at age 25. Many in the media laughed and scorned her when she shaved her head. I lived in Hollywood during that time, and I've made it my life's mission to tell all of you out there what so many of you really know deep down, that fame and Hollywood and the media machine are rotten to the core. Shut up, kitty cats. Hey, y'all had to grab the microphone right quick. Look at that motherfucker, uh, Tucker Carlson. See how he, look at the look on his face. See how he's trying to play it off? Like he don't know nothing about this shit. You know what? These motherfuckers are faker than a goddamn three dollar bill. It's your ass, Mr. Postman. Now, <clears throat> Rose McGowan talking shit about Oprah. And y'all know Oprah got her own channel. Oprah Winfrey Network. OWN. Of course, right to left. NWO. Oh boy. You niggas are pathetic. Now, as I close this shit out, I want to read this tweet <laughs> by Rose McGowan. Listen to this shit, niggas. I am glad. More are seeing the ugly truth of Oprah. I wish she were real, but she isn't. From being pals with Weinstein, <laughs> whatever the fuck his name is, Frankenstein, from being pals with Weinstein, Weinstein, to abandoning and destroying Russell Simmons' victims. She is about supporting a sick power structure for personal gain. She is as fake as they come. Hashtag lizard. It's your ass, Mr. Postman. <laughs> oh, boy. See, I had a wonderful childhood. I had a literal magical childhood. And, and all hell broke loose is when, well, it, it was when I, when I became homeless. Like, I have four children. Mm. And, and I was homeless with my four children. That's when all hell broke loose when I got an adult, you know. But before that, I was living in heaven. Like, everything in heaven. But I was living in a wonderfully normal childhood. But, but then when I got into the real world, that's when I was like, oh, shit. It, and, and damn, and, and that's what, and, but see, people like us, we have to do this. We have to come down here and feel this heat in order for us to understand. It's like, oh, oh, so y'all motherfuckers got your foot on our neck. Oh, okay. All right. Well, well, we're going to have to uh, wait this out and see, and see how divine intervention will, will save me from this. Because there's no way in hell that I'm going to come down here and die, die down here. You, how? Why would I come down here and die when I have to do something? So we are chosen to do something. We're, and we're right now we're the watchers, but we also have to feel this heat yep. from these demons in mm -hmm. order to be right, in order to perfect the soul. Exactly, exactly. All oh, I've said all the time: this madness is important for us. It's mm -hmm. shape. It's, it's shaping and molding us into some new creatures. Right, 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 right. So it's like, you know, we, you know, we ain't supposed to like what we going through. That's obvious. This, this shit is wicked. But as I say all the time, everything that the enemy is doing to us is making us stronger 
and it's turning us into, for lack of better words, super gods and goddesses. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and, and right now, we're going through, you know, we ride right now. Uh, and what we're doing is we're, we're riding on the fact that we can see now. Now we can see the booster shot. Now, see, I made this video about our booster shot. When, we put, when, they gave us, when they gave us this booster shot, they made us mentally retarded. I'm talking about when they gave our mother's mother the booster shot back in 1902, when they started complaining to the Senate that, that you stole my land. That's when we started getting the booster shot. That made us retarded to where we became complacent with what we're living in now. This is why we got messed up, because when they gave us that booster shot, it literally made us stupid. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you can see, and you, I know you got one. Don't you got a booster shot? Uh, more than likely. I'm pretty sure I did. It's, yes, it's on it's on the shoulder. Just look on your shoulder and you'll see how your skin is distorted. And why where, why is that distorted? Because that booster shot was that powerful. And if if if, if it distorts your skin like that, then imagine what it do to did what it did to our brains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, so it's on it's on your right or left shoulder, right here on the and you can see how your that's the booster man, he messed us up. We were dumb ever since. We you know, they took away our power when we supposed to be flying and shit. They took that away from that booster shot. That's and that's why everybody uh waking up to this truth about, you know, the water, poison, the food, so on and so forth, is all about keeping us suppressed, preventing us from connecting to our true, real life, spirit world, spirit realm, our true natural, supernatural gifts. Everything that they do is to suppress us. Any, you know, it's like they, like, like I've said so many times, people just don't know how much the enemy is afraid of us. They, and you know, it's yeah, true. Yeah, uh huh, go ahead. I'm, I'm glad you said that because you said the food. See, notice how they made it, they even made it. They said food and drug administration. Why food and drug administration? Why don't you just say food is food administration? But see, mm -hmm. when you say food and drug administration, that means they've been drugging your food this whole time. Mm-hmm. Yep. See? see? So, and, 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 and this all by design because we're supposed to be messed up and drugged up. We're supposed to be this way so we can understand. I mean, damn, if, 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 you, if you ain't never went to hell before and you up in heaven... Then you're not a real god. You can't be up in up in heaven just looking. looking. You gotta you gotta actually get your ass beat up down here. You gotta feel it. You yep. know. Mm -hmm. You you know how you gonna be a god up, up in heaven and looking down? You that that's not a god thing. A, a real god comes down here and they have to go through this shit because can't nobody tell nobody. You know, like if we're when we're when we get done with all this, do you know we're gonna be the most famous people in the galaxy. Do you know this? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. My, okay. uh, my... Everybody's going to know us because they're going to know us by the people of Earth. If you came from Earth, this is how they're going to say, if you came from Earth, then God damn it, you are a titan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my, my, bro my brother, uh, Yash Kara, said that a long time ago. He said that we are the celebrities. We're going to be celebrities. We're the real celebrities. Yeah, we, we are really the Truman. Everybody's Truman up in here, for real. Mm -hmm. You know, we're being watched right now. And and they know it, you know, because, um, I mean, and it's really America. It's America is the, the chosen children because, you see, we're right in the center, right in the center of the earth. That's on purpose. Mm-hmm. And we was brought here on purpose. And it's like and, and all of the all of the other countries came against us because they're trying to be like the most high. They're trying to be like it. And it's like you said, you know, we got we gotta experience all this shit. This is what I've been talking about. How are you gonna be a God without experiencing all this shit? That's what a god a goddess is. You're all knowing and you gotta experience this shit. You gotta experience hell as well. And unfortunately, people, like I said so many times, they want to be God. If you want to be God, you not. You either are or you not. The wicked people, right. the wicked people, they want to be God. Yeah. These motherfuckers can't handle a little bit of pressure. Look at the shit we going through. And they talking about being gods. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on now. 
you got to experience everything. That includes hell. To yeah, in order to be a true god and hell. goddess. Yeah, go ahead. This, this earth is hell. This earth is definitely mm -hmm. hell. This is what it is. We are definitely in hell. That's right. And and we're coming out of it. And I'm going to tell you something. Uh, maybe about next year, it, it, it's going to get real funny. And I'm talking about hilarious. Ah! Ah! I think I'm going to like it here. The mind of a god. Hey y'all, check this out. This past, what? Saturday. I was talking to one of my subscribers on the phone. who just happened to live in Detroit. And he told me that the sun is red. He asked me, could I see it? And I told him, for those of you who don't know, I live in Gary, Indiana. But he asked me, could I see the sun? And I told him that I couldn't see it right now because of the, yeah, Cloud coverage, you know. Not long after I got off the phone, I just happened to notice when I was in the living room, I could see the sun through the window. And it was red. I mean, it was red. Like a motherfucking apple. Red. Red, motherfuckers. The sun was red. So I didn't have my camera at the, at, at the moment. So I came in my room 30 seconds later, the sun was gone. What the hell is going on here? So, I, you know, put my shoes on, feet don't fail me now, and I took off running towards the gas station so I can get a good look at the so-called sun as it was setting. I had to, I had no choice, I had to run because I ain't had no, I ain't had no air in, you know, in, in, you know, in my tires on my bike. Shout out. <laughs> but anyway, by the time I got there, it was just getting ready to set. Look at that shit. Now, this is exactly the way it looked as far as the color at this particular time. But, when I saw that shit in front of the house before I left, it was red. Red, red, motherfuckers. God damn. Now, as y'all know, Saturday, this past Saturday, was September 11th. What was that, 20 year anniversary or something like that? But the September 11th attacks. Y'all, them motherfuckers in them caves came up with their great plan. Hijacked them planes, crashed them into the buildings, and the buildings fell down. Bullshit, motherfucker. But anyway, check this out, niggas. 20. 20 year anniversary of September 11th attack. Uh, September 11th attacks. 20. Over a good number of years leading up to 2020, the year 2020, I and many of us was telling y'all about the year 2020. 2020 vision. Something was going to happen. We told you, motherfuckers. And the year 2020 came, and what happened? A coronavirus. Oh my gosh! 20. All these things is going on, especially when it comes to numbers as well. Multiple meanings, as always. But from this perspective, 20 is a representation of the end. So... For example, any of y'all smoke cigarettes? How many cigarettes is in a pack? 20. You smoke that last cigarette. That's the end, motherfucker. 
Now check this out, niggas. I talked about this a number of times. We had that 111 phenomenon back in 2011. Look it up. Check out some videos or read. We had that 111 phenomenon in 2011. Now, I was talking to my daughter. It was about six years ago, whatever it was. And she asked me about this thing that's going on where people are saying that 666 is not the devil. She said she heard this dude say that 666 is man. That's us. And I told her that most of the time when we disagree with each other, we both correct. Posing views over here. You think you ain't agreeing? You somebody's wrong? Nope. A lot of times, both of you motherfuckers is correct on certain things. And this thing about six 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 is the devil. No, six 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 is man. Anybody who thinks that six 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 is the devil, you are correct. Anybody think that six 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 is man, you are correct. Listen to me, niggas. The physical body, the DNA, six protons, six neutrons, six electrons, man, the physical body. So anybody who says 666 is man, you are correct. Anybody who says 666 is the devil, you are correct as well. How can both be correct? Because... The physical body is bullshit. Our Father in heaven condemned sin in the flesh. And y'all know these wicked ass satanic devil worshiping motherfuckers love the flesh. Man, the physical body, the flesh. Six neutrons, six protons, six electrons. Man, and it's the devil, it's flesh, the flesh, sin. God condemns sin in the flesh. So, everybody who's in this physical body is 666. Man, the devil. But, the 111 phenomenon was a wake-up call. And for those who accepted the 111, you are no longer 666. You are now 777. 777 is a representation of Christ. Yeah. Look at the uh, look at the look at the book of Revelations. Especially those first couple of pages or whatever. Seven's all over the place. Seven stars and and seven this and seven churches, all kinds of shit. Seven 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 is a representation of Christ. All of us are six six six. Man. The devil, this sinful flesh. But if you wake up and you symbolically accept the 111, 666 plus 111 is 777. So, motherfucker, <laughs> we all are man, the flesh, the devil. You have to rise up to your higher self, accept the 111, and you will become 777. Christ. P.S. I said 20 from the perspective of this reality represents the end. We are now in the year 2021. 777 is what? 21. And when you play that game Blackjack, but in that game Blackjack, 
If you go over 21, you lose. It's your ass, Mr. Postman. Fuck! So in other words, it's time for guys, people to go home. 21, 2021, 777, 21. It's your ass, Mr. Postman. The mind of a god. Breaking news. Shut up, bitch. This is a breaking ghetto news alert. I am your host, Yeshua Pandera. Filling in for a ghetto ass nigga who is on vacation or something. While I was making this video, all hell broke loose next door. The motherfuckers are going off like a motherfucker. So, what more can I say? Check this out, niggas. This has been a Ghetto News Alert. I am your host, Yeshua Pandera. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. The first robot ever turned into a human. I'm beginning to have some second thoughts. <laughs> oh. Hey, my antenna's gone. No, it just moved. I'm not getting good reception on it, though. Maybe if I wiggle it around a little. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something. Uh, maybe about next year, it, it, it's going to get real funny. And I'm talking about hilarious. Just imagine it when they forget to rule over you. Imagine how that's going to look. You're going to see niggas chasing them down the street, knocking their motherfucking teeth up. And I'm <laughs> because over here in California, we've been ready. We, we, mm -hmm. My brother, my brother, we've been ready. He, man, what we said, we chase the motherfuckers. He wait. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hunting season. Hunting season. And you know what? I thought it was going to be somebody that was going to come down. No, it's not going to, it's not going to be somebody's going to come down and, 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 and protect us. It's us. See, 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 they're going to be running like, oh, she was from the, from the rocks in the, in the mountains or, or she'll just, they're going to be doing that because, because when they, when they start to, to, to uh, turn, they're going to realize, oh my God, you, you guys are gods because when they turn, they're going to turn into creatures. Like, you know, mm -hmm. when you look at Planet of the Apes, watch any Planet of the Apes movie in the 1968, they will show you that they was crawling on all fours. And that the apes was, of course, the black people, which is a great compliment. But they and they was the rulers. They was the rulers, and no matter where they went, no matter what planet they went to, it was always the apes ruling the planet because it's the truth. Saturn is all black. Venus is all black. Hell, Jupiter can't even look at Saturn because Jupiter is where the Chinese and the Mexicans created the white race right there, made them right from a fucking petri dish. That's why they're the, they're the abomination. 
And um, but what's crazy about that is the Chinese created the white race and and gave them the musket gun to take us over because they didn't get because they couldn't be a real true ninja. Ain't that a bitch? They mad because they couldn't be a real true ninja. Well, hell, we made them the costumes. They could have had the costumes to wear. We made them the samurai costumes because they mad because they couldn't be a real samurai. So they created the white race to take us over. Ain't that something? Yeah, you know, I was just watching your video talking about this shit. I know I roll around before rhyming ninja and nigga, but I never made that connection like you did. <laughs> It's like, okay, you know, I've always said we are the originators, everything comes from us. But nigga and ninja, I never really thought about that shit. That's real. <laughs> and if you and if you uh talk to uh Dan Calloway, he tells you straight up that we are we are Nietzsche's. Nietzsche's are the same thing as the ninjas over there in the Nagas. So it's and, and on top of that, if you type in uh sacred inword.com, you will learn that the word nigger means God, I am the worst of you. You mm. see, so that word, the N word, was really first. The the N word was first, and that was that's our word. It's very a powerful sacred name is niggas. That's a very powerful name. That's why when when they say it, we get upset because it's not supposed to come out of their mouth. You know, when I when I was seven, uh, the white boy called me that, and I thought it felt like he threw acid on me. That's how bad it felt. Mm -hmm. Where I needed to to kill this little boy. And that was the only thing that was on my mind. Now, he could have called my mama and my father all kind of things. I wouldn't have reacted that way. But it, the moment he said that, that, that listen to me, I just, I just wanted to, I wanted to kill him. And why would I feel that way? Because that name is not supposed to be uttered out there now. It's supposed to be, we supposed to only speak that, not them. Right, right. Because they was talking, I remember somebody was talking about this years ago. And of course, Bobby Hemmings was one of the people who talked about this, that they use that name, you know, these wicked ass white motherfuckers. They use that name and put it out there to make it seem derogatory so that we, the niggas, won't use that name and call on that power and wake up and shit. They some sneaky motherfuckers. <laughs> so I'm just like you. And just like anybody else, you hear that N word come out of these white people's mouth, it's just like, oh my God, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and you and you know what's when you know what's what's so it, it, what's so amazing about it is that I've never heard that word before until I, when I was seven, he said that word, and he could have said anything. He could have said any. He could have said, "Oh, your mama a hoe, your daddy a hoe, whatever." But that word, I mean, why would that word make me come up out myself where? I mean, I was crying chasing this boy, and I, I was. And the reason why I was crying is because I couldn't catch him. That's what I was mm. crying because it would have satisfied me if I could just take my hands and just choke the life out. That's all I wanted to do. That was it. And I ran in the house. I ran in the house and I, and I cried to my mother. And she said, "What's wrong with you?" And I said, "Oh, and word." And then she said, "Listen, now you go out there and you tell him. You say, you Jew boy, you Jew boy. Now go out there and say." It. I said, "Jew boy." She said, "Yeah." Tell them that go. And then I said, but they not white. She said, no, they're not white. Now go. So I went outside and I said, you Jew boy, you Jew boy. And he did the same thing. He then rolled around and started crying to be ran to his, his mama house because he heard that word Jew boy. And that resonated with him because you know that Holocaust thing was, you know, supposedly had happened, which it never happened. But anyway, mm -hmm. it, 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 it did something to that little boy in which when he ran home, his whole family came back to me, and the mother pushed him because he was crying when he came back. I guess they whooped him, and the mother pushed him, and then he said, I'm sorry for calling you that. Evidently, the sister must have went and told and said, well, you called her the N-word, so that's why she called you the Jew boy. And his whole family came out to make him apologize to me, mm. you know, because they know how bad that that hurt them because I called him that. I called him a Jew boy, you know. <laughs> so, I, and that was the first time I ever learned the difference between white and Jewish. Even though the white boy is still a Neanderthal, they put that Jewish thing like he's the real Jew. No, goddamn it, you're not the real Jew. But, but the fact is that 
he felt the, the same pain I felt. You see what I'm saying? When mm -hmm. he was crying and rolling around too, because the words can cut you uh, when, you know, when it's that deep, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that's, 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 um, that's crazy. But um, that word, that, that, that sacred N word is very powerful to us. And that's our name. That's not their name. Only we can say it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got my smokes. Y'all better be lucky. Told y'all I don't have my smokes. I'm going to go on the violent killing spree. Stab you, choke you, whatever I got to do. Yeah, like Eddie Murphy said in that movie Life. The last video that I made when I showed that chick, yeah, like before, <laughs> screaming, going off and shit. I was thinking about, you know, especially when it comes to niggas. You have so-called black man and a so-called black woman in a relationship. When both of them motherfuckers is wicked, nine times out of ten, it's the so-called man in that relationship that be playing and using the shit at that so-called woman. And this is based on judgment. Because... Y'all, y'all seen that video? Y'all know she's talking about how she be buying them shit and everything he got. You know she paid for and all this shit. Uh, what the fuck you spending money on this motherfucker for? I mean, you know, he's a wicked, no good motherfucker. She's a wicked, no good motherfucker. But this is judgment. That's what this is. And seeing all this shit play out like this, it's a beautiful thing because. Um, this is, uh, this happens to these wicked ass niggas as well. But when a wicked ass ungodly woman is in a relationship with a man of God, Lord have mercy. Being the demons that they are, demons in the flesh, they just be, just, they just do, they be trying to destroy you. So it's only a matter of time they get into a relationship with a wicked ass nigga. And that wicked ass nigga uses, plays, and destroys the shit out of them. They just be fucking going nuts. Karma. Judgment Day. Doesn't it bother you even a little to be taking advantage of your girlfriend's trust? <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. 